Today I have the privilege of speaking with James Howard Tripp and wishing you a happy new year. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. You too? James, we get a lot of interest in you on a regular basis. And in part, the Canadian biotech and health market is really increasing, but you're culminating 20 years of work, and we're all waiting. I do have some very knowledgeable shareholders that are calling me and going, we cannot wait until the announcement in Q1. Is this still on track, or is there any kind of update you'd like to give us on the Aristotle test that's 20 years in the making? Yes. No, we're still on track. And... Um, I, I think the big thing about, you know, why we talk about 20 years in the making is because it's one thing to say you have cancer, and I'm not entirely sure what kind of cancer or perhaps whether it's even cancer. So in other words, I have to look at a whole lot of other diseases too, versus being able to say, no, it's this cancer and it's not anything else. And the only way you get there is you have to have done a considerable amount of work. And so that's what we bring to bear. I think that's why we're so comfortable around this. And you most recently did a, another private placement for $7.2 million just prior to the holidays. Would you like to give some uh, the shareholders an update on what the funds are being used for and how they're being deployed? Yes. So it's all about upgrading the organization. It's all about preparing for the launch of Aristotle. And um, if you think about it, we've, we've typically had um, you know, relatively small amounts of money. Um, we've done pretty well with what we have had, but you don't, you don't go into a launch like this, um, particularly you know, versus the competitors we're up against without trying to be well capitalized. So all of this is about Aristotle. And of course, you've managed well, you know, well getting Aristotle to the next level to create revenue streams with your COVID testing. Can you give us a bit of an update on that? Yes, um, COVID's done two really great things for us. The one, the one is revenue. Money's always nice, and uh, you know we had our first um, sort of first real quarter of revenue in Q3. We haven't released Q4 yet, but we've actually, you know, what's public is that the trajectory that we started in Q3 carried on through Q4. We'll, we'll report in due course. And your next question is, well, what's Q1 like? And, you know, we can confirm that your know, trajectory continues through Q1. So nice, nice to have the money. And the money has allowed us to move very rapidly in terms of building out at the same time that we were doing the prospectus offerings. So um, we, we, we think the COVID revenue is going to continue for a while yet. Um, that's always a positive. It should get eclipsed by Aristotle as Aristotle comes forward. Um, but it's a, yeah, it's a good base, nice, nice, comfortable base, at least for the next 12 months. And of course, distribution will be intriguing as well. I'm, I'm certain with COVID-19, I'm sure you could do a whole seminar on how COVID-19 may have actually facilitated better infrastructure or architecture for the deployment of Aristotle testing in the future. Am I correct in that uh, conclusion or am I totally off track here? No, you're 100% on base. Um, everything that we were looking for, um, I, I, Aristotle, not Aristotle, COVID has dramatically accelerated. And I think we talk about telehealth, for example. Telehealth had acceptance only of about 6% at the beginning of last year. By, by March, April of last year, it was 85%. People expect it to settle back a little bit. It will, but, but no one's projecting anything less these days than 50 or 60 percent. What did we bank on two, three years ago? We banked on telehealth. We built it out. It's dramatically driven it forward. So if, if you look, you know, we're, we're two and a half times bigger now than we were in March of last year. All of this is, it is really been the acceleration through COVID. So, James, this is just confirming that we're on track for Aristotle validation. We're on track for uh, trajectory, uh, revenue, uh, ongoing. Is that correct? Did I th hear the term trajectory uh, revenue correctly, James? You do. We're on track. Now, one more question for you. Saliva testing. You had an advancement on that the last time we spoke. Can you give us an update on that? Yes, the advantage of saliva testing is that it allows us to broaden our reach. 
And if you if, if you think about that, so we we just recently partnered with Air Canada, so iCore and Air Canada. And if you think about returning passengers to Canada, one of the advantages here is we can actually equip the passengers when they leave with the actual kits to allow them to get tested while they're away and get back again. And that's just a huge advantage. Um, when you're in a foreign country, even if it's the US, and you're trying to find a lab and you're trying to get it through on time and you're trying to get the, the required documentation the governments need, it's very hard. We've just made all of that easy. Well, as always, James, thank you so much for the update. We do get a lot of inquiries, so I know everyone will be very delighted to have uh, an update from you. Thank you, James. You're welcome.